Hello all you beautiful gamers, collectors, and just people in general. How you doing? I am Total Mord. Welcome to my video game collector channel. And today on the channel we have, what we have here is Data East All-Star Collection. Now this is a re-release. Well, actually, it's an NES game that has a 5-in-1 in it, which is I don't know. It's pretty cool. While I have actually unboxed some of these, um, the retro bit stuff on here, none of it's been like too amazing. That is, except for the R type collection. That thing was freaking awesome. But I have unboxed a certain, um, it was the Joe and Mac collection, which, which was okay. Um, which, so I'm not expecting this to be completely stellar, but I do think, uh, it'll be, it'll be worth, uh, worth a look at it at the very least. So let's take a look at it and see how it compares from a collector's point of view. All right, so you know now, I, you know I'm kind of digging the box art here. This looks like the, um, the very first uh, what is it? The NES? What are those called? The Black Label games? You know, like the original Super Mario or the Ice, the Ice Climbers. Those type of games had these kind of cases on them. So honestly, I do like that attention to detail on there. The picture there in the middle there. It's just, it's, well, I mean, what can you do? It's a five in one. <laughs> so, but you know what? For what it's worth, I really dig the cover for this. And in fact, right here, we have the, what looks to be, well, it mimics the, the Nintendo seal of quality. So that is actually a pretty cool attention to detail as well as right here, 8-bit. <clears throat> I think that is pretty cool because back in the day, right here, you would see um, on the cases, they'd say like, you know, action series or, um, you know, adventure series. So I, I think that's kind of mimicking that. So honestly, so far, the cover here, like, really grabs me like that, which I didn't notice that when I bought it. I noticed it when I was actually uh, looking at it here just, just before I started. So um, Data East is off to a pretty good start here, just on detail alone. Now the back, um, we have a still of each one of the five games in which that includes Bad Dudes, Side Pocket, Ring King, Buggy Popper and Burger Time. Now, I feel like just about everybody's played Burger Time, or at least a lot of retro gamers. Which Burger Time is a pretty, pretty awesome game. Bad Dudes, I know of. I think is, I think is, I think is better in the arcade than the NES one, but still pretty good, pretty solid. Side Pocket, Ring King, and Buggy Popper. I'm not really sure what those are. Looks like Buggy Popper is like an arcade driving game like that, but. Oh, and Ring King is boxing from side to side, so I wouldn't expect Mike Tyson punch-out level quality, but maybe it's still good. And I don't think I've ever played pool on a video game before, so hey, if that's your thing, that's your thing. Let's see what the back says. Enjoy some of the very best games from the Data East library with All-Star Collection cartridge, published by Retrobit for your NES console. This 5-in-1 cart compiles must... Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> This 501 cart compiles a must-have list of retro classics. Well, I will just take their I will take their um, take their word for that. So, I mean, if nothing else, it has Burger Time. So that's that's definitely something. So, but that's enough of that. Also, it does tell you what it includes in it. It ex includes exclusive sticker and button sets. So, without any further ado, let's crack into it and see what it's got. Are you ready, Games Caliber? Although it is a little sad because it comes with this little hang tab here, and that's actually another attention to detail here. So to get rid of that will be sad, but in my opinion, collector or you know, video games are meant to be played and enjoyed. And that's nothing against people that that you know that just collect them uh, brand new or anything. This just my own personal philosophy on it. So I, <laughs> I'll be honest though, I do actually have a couple brand new games, and it's. Like, I do want to open them, but at the same time, I kind of, kind of don't. I probably will on the channel, because I own F-Zero, brand new, and I also own, um, Star Tropics 2. And so, as of right now, I'm kind of a hypocrite to my own mantra there, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Alright, so just like the other one, which, back in the day, you got cardboard, um, you know, hold these things in. But th they did plastic on that, and I think that's a lot better. Here's the two exclusive buttons we got here. Uh, I wish my wish my camera was a tiny bit better, but that's okay. It looks like one of them right here is for Ring King. Now, I don't know anything about Ring King. I've never played it. And the other one, 
That's burger time. Burger time guy. Looks like the chef there. I think they say some things here, but I'm trying to give you guys a good look at my bad quality camera. <laughs> the ring king one? Aww. They're hugging it. It says hug it out. The, the burger time one doesn't show anything, but he's just kind of sitting there looking goofy. So, you know, honestly, those are kind of cool. I, I really enjoy those. I think, I feel like the Joe and Mac one came with one. Maybe it was two, but I remember it was a little disappointing. Now, here's something that earns points for me. It comes with an instruction manual, but I don't think it's anything more than just a how to play. But at the very least, it's something. Okay, I see it. It, which I'm right, and it does tell you a little bit about it, so that, I, I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. Bad dudes, burger time, buggy popper. It shows you the controls, shows you what the game looks like. You know, that's, I dig that. I, I can appreciate this. Ah. Side pocket, ring king. So, yeah, you know what? It's not like a full-on manual, but in my opinion, it, it's effort. It's it's better than what I thought it was going to be. So, I, honestly, that gets points for me. What else we got here? Oh, I did that. Oh, it comes with a sleeve! Alright. We have... Oh. Very cool. We have stickers for Burger Time. I wish I knew the name of that guy. I feel like it's like Chef Pepper or something. I know he's got the pee on his hat. Not as in gross pee. Don't be gross. And then we got, you know, burgers right there being made. There's a second set, so maybe like one is to keep, maybe another one you could use. Uh, I do kind of wish that they were different, but at the same time, you know, if you want to collect one of them and use the other one, go for it. Kind of neat. Um, I think I like these better than the Joe and Mac ones, because the Joe and Mac one, I think I had one sticker and it was kind of like, uh, okay, thanks. Now, here's what I oot about. So... It came with a dust sleeve, a dust cover. How cool is that? It doesn't say Nintendo on it or anything, but it's plain black, but that's a really nice touch. And the cartridge, it looks kind of, it looks really cool. I believe this is what the Joe and Mac one would look like. Maybe it was the R-Type, but dude, I am so down with that design there, the black and red. That just looks, I don't know, love it. And... No, you know the the cover sticker there. I like it too. Uh, I think it shows maybe like some pictures there in the background and brownish and reddish, bluish, whatever ish. But you know, for what it's worth, I'm actually really enjoying this. And there you have it. We had a couple buttons. We had some stickers. We had a kind of a manual. We had a dust cover, and. The box looked very much like an NES box. This turned out to be a lot better than I thought. Um, so, was this worth it from a collector's point of view, though? Honestly, I totally dig this collection. I think they did better on this than they did on the Joe and Matt collection. Um, my opinion stays kind of the same, though. Like, if, if you want to get into retro, you know, retro gaming, and you actually want to play, like, you know, actual hard copies of the game, if you don't want to do emulation, nothing against emulation, but, you know, if you're that person, this is, this is pretty cool. I mean, it'll take you back, the cover's amazing, uh, you got a dust cover, I, I think it'll do the whole nostalgia thing for you. Um, and even if you want to collect it just to collect it, I think the stickers and the unique pins are pretty, are pretty, uh, awesome. I really like those, so... In my opinion, definitely gets a pass. I love it. Um, but yeah, what did you think? Let me down down in the comments. For me, it was definitely a trip down, uh, you know, nostalgia lane, which is awesome. So, <sighs> anyway, I just want to say thank you for checking me out today. I've been a bit more active on Twitch. If you happen to do the whole Twitch scene, I'd love to hang out with you. Uh, recently hit affiliate status, so that's always cool, right? So just want to say thank you for checking me out and I will judge you next time.